customer asked, how can you configure the Dynagen controller on our generator to switch something on and off if there is any warning or any failure uh, so they can monitor it from remote. They, they have something they want to signal if there's any warning or any failure, um, something should switch on and off. So it's pretty simple. You want to download the Rapid Core configuration software from Dynagen. It's also available on our website. And you want to connect by a USB cable to the back of the controller. In this case, it's the Dynagen TG410 controller. Connect it to the computer. It's going to recognize and see the controllers uh, uh, that you have connected. And we'll give you a list of them here. At the moment, there's only one controller connected. It's going to show it's connected because of the little green symbol here. I'm going to select uh, the controller that I want to work with. When I finished reading the file, it's uh, been instructed to just open the file. I can tell it to just save it right away. Uh, let's read from the controller, the configuration file that's in there. And now you would probably save or save as and make a backup copy of it in case you mess something up. You can always go back and reload it and have the original file um, without having to worry too much. So what I want to do is uh, I want to use one of the switched outputs on the controller. I want it uh, uh, one of the spare ones. This actually was disabled here. I just uh, started the video over again. Here we go. So this is normally how our controllers uh, are using the switched outputs. Um, four of them are currently in use. You have two other ones you can use. In this case, uh, switched out F, the terminal in the back of the controller. Um, switched out F. We're going to um, configure it to do a number of things and uh, we're going to group all those events that any one of those events happen it should do something. So rather than just selecting one item uh, it will only allow you to select one item we're going to tell it it's a group of events, a group um, group outputs. Now it gives me an option here for group output group output one, what I want to group together and in this case I selected a few warnings like low engine temperature, high engine temperature, uh, low oil pressure, under speed. You know you can go and make changes and select what condition should switch output F on and in this case I just picked various uh, um, conditions that should uh, alarm us here. These are uh, warnings. There's also failures and events. It's the warnings that uh, I'm concerned about. Um, I can also failure, high engine temperature, low oil pressure, uh, low fuel level. I really want to know if anything's going on. I want my, uh, you know, alarm on my desk to light up or something if uh, there's a problem with a generator outside without having to go out and look at it. So that's all there is to it. Um, you can save the file now, name it, um, name it something so you can go back to it again in the future. Uh, if I click on the home button here, I still have my controller selected. I want to store my changes and click on OK. It is reading, writing, check.